Do you consider yourself a Splatoon whiz? A couple weeks ago, I went to Twitter.com and I asked, Hey, hey, what, what information did you not know for a long time that other people seem pretty aware of? A lot of people would call this information Wahoo Timer Moments. Because, uh, well, Wahoo World has a timer and not everybody realizes that there's a timer in place to determine when this little platform comes in and comes out. So it's time to test you. April says, I used to think that squid rolling was when you dodge rolled with the dualies. And since intensify action had an effect on that, I used to put a bunch of it on and then use it for my dualies. Aww. Aww. Or Milk here realized the hard way in the middle of a VC with their friends that Krusty Sean, the creator of all this lovely gear you see here, actually doesn't need that silly fried jacket. And Sean, Sean, it's really okay. You can you can put it back on. So um, don't don't look back there. Hey, I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but that thing is just a big old coffee dispenser. It really contrasts with all the bright drinks sold right here. You know, I could buy one if I wanted to. I have plenty of tickets. <laughs> a picture is worth a thousand words. I'm gonna be real. I definitely didn't think those were hands either. <laughs> Got me there. I, I mean, it makes sense that you could, like, flick your charge slashes, but honest to God, never really thought about doing it. I, like, run up to people, I'm like, yeah, get them. Like, I, I, I push, and I slap, and I push, and I slap. I would never think to be like, I push, and I get you. It makes the weapon <laughs> so much better, too. <laughs> I stand by this gray wall to show you this. Yeah, there's been a cheap, cheap in Octo expansion this whole time. I bet you didn't know that one. I didn't. Adam says, for me, it was not knowing you could just hold down ZL instead of mashing. I mean, I guess, I guess mashing works too. I, I would have never thought of doing the mash, actually. <laughs> I can't even help but like congratulate this person. They invaded Sturgeon Shipyard for like a year and a half. That's, that's like impressive. Until I saw this tweet, I, I did not know. I didn't know you could go up here. Why, why would you need to go up here? I, I guess you could like, go after like a flanker or like somebody, but they can't even go up there themselves? The enemy team? I mean, I, I, I guess it's there. EJ says, sigh. For the longest time, I didn't realize what the end zap was supposed to be. How many, guys, how many people do you think out there don't know what this is? Like, especially among the youth. I, I bet it's a lot. <laughs> And welcome on in, folks, to an episode of Squid Roll Spot. You will never pull off in the middle of an intense clan boots match, but yes, it is there and it's always been there. Woo! <laughs> just, you know, one more. You see, like, that's just, this is what's gonna happen, like, half the time you do it. You're gonna, like, climb up, you're ready to go, and you're, uh, you're gonna, like, barely make it. And in that time, like, the enemy team is gonna be just watching you, like, <laughs> struggle <laughs> to climb up. Did you guys know there was a map? of the whole lobby, the, like the whole time here, cause I, I sure didn't. That's the lobby. <laughs> ah, the classic. I just remembered this one. One of my friends just casually mentioned that splatlings are called splatlings because splat plus gatling gun. <laughs> Jess says it took me years to figure out that looking up while holding a splash wall makes it land closer to your feet. So here's a splash wall, just chucked it in normal height. Here's a splash wall, thrown all the way up, still looks the same, but here's a splash wall when you're looking down. Ah, ah. <sighs> all right guys, now here's what I've never thought about in my life. Look at the map. It reads off, it took me three years to realize that clams are highlighted on the map if they are on terrain painted your color. Look, they even, they even do the little circle thing. I, I swear on my life, I never thought about this. I <laughs> I don't I don't know if I like the fact that I know this now. Like, you know when you're complaining sometimes, like, man, there's no clams on the map anywhere. What if there are clams on the map, but you just never noticed them because nothing's been your paint color? This is messed up. <laughs> this deviation right here that happens on occasion is the kind of thing that stops people from wanting to play 96 Gal. <laughs> This one I'm including because it's one of my favorites. Just, they love auto bombs like so much in this game. The magic, the power of this picture 
You gotta tell me one picture that goes as hard as this, please. Okay, I don't think we can truly prove this one, but technically speaking, Inkjet might be named after the printer. Like, Inkjet printers, and I don't like that. <laughs> But you know what I do like? The fact that Torpedo is literally just, just, he's just sauce. He's just one sauce is big. Look at the Torpedo and look at this picture of sauce. This is great. Thank you. I needed this. A lot of people out there's first weapon realization was just that the Hydra Splatling is a fire hydrant. And you know what? You know what? You're so real for that. Not everybody knows everything. I'm still learning things like all the time. If you want to live your best life out there, you could always try to be like the Inklings back in 2017 who just kind of didn't realize that Marina was an Octoling. Just like trash over here. Scrolling down a little bit, we actually have an extremely good update to the Hydra that I did not know. We're apparently uh, not really one, but Hydra is called Hydra partially because it has three barrels. Like a Hydra having three heads. I, I didn't know that one. Ah, uh, shortcake. Deep in their heart, just like I still want to get apartments in Splatoon 4. They thought that this inkling was just chilling in the corner, right behind the wall in the old Splatoon 1 title screen. <sighs> if only. Oh, here's a good one. Mask said that before this year, they had no idea that you could change the badges around. And I'm not talking about selecting a badge and picking a spot for it. I'm talking about choosing where it stands. Like, let's say you wanted to have your setup, and so you just only had, like, one badge you could you could do that bye bye singular badge you want to move it somewhere else you could do that too bada bing badge over here some people out there even get the honor of coming into splatoon not aware that inklings is actually a word it just means knowing something if i have an inkling you'll know something more about this game by the end of this video all right, so I read this comment just now that says the laser on the long-range mode of the S-Blast. So I'm like doofing around, playing, and then I saw this little, this little red spot. <laughs> does, it, does it show up on like the wall? I don't think it does. Okay. Okay, at least I'm not... <laughs> I'm going to zoom in right now just so you can see what I'm talking about. I, I didn't know this one. I've never seen that in my life. When I first picked up the Splatoon 2 story mode in 2018, I vividly remember thinking that the canned special was a Zapfish. Because I had no idea what I was looking for, and I was thinking of canned tuna. Honestly, the, the color is pretty similar. I I'm gonna give you this one. I, I think that's very real, actually. Pi says he only fairly recently discovered the pun with the Ammo Knight's name. <laughs> Ammo Knights. Ammo Knights. Yes! Here's a really sad truth. Painting the trees does not count towards total ink and turf war. Wah. They can at least let the tree be pink. Make me feel like, like, a, like a little better, honestly. Please? Alright, the one that blew my mind the most during this is how much time you save super jumping when you're already in your ink. You see how slow that jump was? Watch what happens when I go in the turf here, I open the map, and then I jump. Look how much time we saved! That's, that's always been a thing! See how many times I probably wouldn't have like died in the middle of a match? If I was aware of that? Just, you know, get out! Did I get like super cut out of the menu there? Did you, did you see that? That's, that, that's a new one. Well, I, uh, on that note, bye-bye. Uh, I hope you learned something new. And if not, uh, tell me something in the comments that maybe you didn't know for a long time and maybe other people around you did know. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. All right, welcome to today's episode of Why Are We... Oh, I messed it up.